Hey guys, how are you doing today? It's Marla. You're going to have to kind of excuse my lighting. I know it's kind of really glary in here and I don't know why it's doing that, but there's something about the way the sun is coming up and my lamps that are made, it's just kind of make my face look really white and shiny. But anyway, let's get started. And actually, I'm having a cup of coffee and inviting you in to have maybe a cup of coffee or a cup of tea with me. I always wanted to be able to kind of like tea because I always thought tea was probably healthier than coffee, but I just cannot drink tea in the morning. I just have to have my coffee. And this morning, my husband said something funny to me. He said, why do all women, when they drink coffee, kind of like hug their coffee mugs? And I thought, you know, I don't know why. I do the same thing when I'm drinking coffee. It's kind of like I'm holding the mug and kind of comforting it, or it's comforting me with the warmth. Maybe that's what it is. Just a quirk. This is going to be my impressions of the Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer Pencil. Now, if you've looked at any of my other videos, you know that I am the queen of concealers. I do not even want to think about how many concealers I've purchased in my lifetime or how many concealers I will purchase in the future. More than I want to think about. And I will not rest until I find a concealer that someday will eradicate all these dark circles under my eyes. And that may or may not happen in my lifetime, we shall see. When I was out shopping recently, I was looking in Sephora at kind of all the different concealers, looking at the ones I've already have, which I do have a lot of the concealers in there. And I came across the Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer Pencil. The color that I picked up, and these are like weird names, uh, is ATF. You can see it right there at the top. And it looks like this. I'll actually show it on a piece of paper, the color that I got, because the lighting again in here makes everything kind of look a little yellow. But I thought it was kind of a cool idea. I like the idea of it being in a pencil form, so I can just kind of put it on my face really quickly, maybe stick it in my bag. Normally what I do is I put this kind of on my face in the morning around my nose, under my eyes, under my eyebrows, use my beauty blender and just kind of blend it in. Very creamy, leaves a matte finish which is really nice. It doesn't have any kind of shine to it. It was only $19 which I know for compared to drugstores is high but compared to a lot of the higher end concealers $19 really isn't a terrible price. The other thing I liked about it is it does not contain any petrochemicals or phthalates. However, when I was looking at the website, it did not mention anything about parabens. So to me, that's a little fishy. So it may contain parabens. They're just not putting anything about them in their description. It may still contain parabens, but at least it doesn't have the phthalates or petrochemicals. Pros. I'm actually going to show you this on and how, you know, what it looks like before and after in pictures. But some of the pros are ease of use. I like the idea that you can just pop it off, put it on, and blend it in. It blends in really quickly, really well, really fast. So I put it around the redness of my nose. And, you know, I'm using my finger right now, which is kind of really disgusting. Normally I use a little bit of a beauty blender. But I can put it under my eyes and blend that in. And it's really hard without a mirror using the computer screen to kind of see, but you can see it really does a pretty good job very quickly of covering up my circles. I can even put it a little bit under my eyebrows if I have any kind of scars from overplucking. I know some of us have that problem. So, oh, so let me first show you a picture of what this looks like on a white piece of paper so you can see what the color looks like. This is the ATF, and this is a really a pretty good representation of what the color actually looks like in person. And let me show you a, I think what I'll do is I'll do a split screen. Half of my under eye area will have no concealer on and the other half will have the concealer pencil on and I'll also do it around my nose too to let you see kind of how the concealing is for this pencil. So let me insert that stage left, right, this way. The side of the face that I'm pointing to has no concealer on around my nose or under my eyes and the other side does have the Urban Decay concealer on around my nose and under my eyes. It does conceal some of my circles and the redness around my nose, however, it doesn't totally obliterate all the darkness under my eyes. So for someone that really doesn't have terrible dark circles, this would probably be a great 
creamy concealer with a matte finish. However, I do have to kind of layer maybe a little bit more on in order to do a halfway decent job of concealing that dark area. Now, for some of the pros, as I said, creamy matte finish, pop it in my purse, just put it on pencil form, nice and convenient, comes in eight shades, you should be able to find a shade that matches your skin tone. Some of the cons, this is Urban Decay Pencil. This is the Grind House by Urban Decay sharpener. So you would think it would be very easy to stick this pencil in this sharpener and sharpen the pencil. However, when I stick it in here, it is not ugh, as easy ugh, as you would think. And I'm like petrified. I'm going to break this tip off. I don't know if you can see that kind of, it's just not a smooth sharpen. I expect a really kind of nice smooth tip that's kind of very precise. And I just feel like when I'm turning this in there, I'm just gonna break that tip off and it's just gonna be a total disaster. So I don't like, this is kind of not pen, not a typical wooden pencil feel to it. It almost feels like a little, like this area right around the tip here is like made of some type of wax. I don't know, but when I go to sharpen it, it just isn't really a smooth sharpen. So if they could fix that, that would be a big plus. Uh, I have a funny feeling this is gonna, I'm gonna be using this really quickly. So that's kind of another thing I just, have a funny feeling this is between sharpening it and making a mess with the sharpening and how creamy it is, this is pencil is probably gonna get used up pretty quickly. When it comes to settling in lines and wrinkles, you know, at 53, which is what I am right now, everything settles into my lines and wrinkles. Honestly, I have yet to find a product that does not go into my lines and wrinkles, to be really honest with you. So to give this a negative review because of that, I just didn't think it was any different, honestly, than any other concealer I've used because every concealer goes into my lines and wrinkles. And during the day, I kind of have to go like this because they'll start forming these little lines and I have to kind of go like this to get rid of them. So I'm not going to give it a negative review. Ugh. I'm not going to give it a negative review for that. So I would probably give this pencil maybe a four star just for the fact that it's very cre nice and creamy, matte finish, so convenient probably more maybe a three to four star because it gets knocked down to the three a little bit because of the sharpening issue. I just don't think, I think this could have been formulated a little bit better so that when I stick it into that sharpener, it's nice, smooth, easy kind of sharpen and I don't stress about breaking the tip off in there. This was my impressions of the Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer Pencil. I really do think it's worth a look-see if you're looking for a nice concealer. I'm using this like a little baton. It's worth a look-see the next time you are out at Sephora. Take care, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.